So with our pork tenderloin, our butcher has butterflied it and they've also flattened it out. That way it's in a nice rectangle, as you can see. So we just need to finish it up and we're gonna do that by seasoning it with salt, black pepper, and then we also need some Italian blend seasoning. We're gonna sprinkle that all over our pork tenderloin. A roulade just simply means to roll. So it's gonna be rolled up with some cheese and then some dried fruit. So we're gonna use a garlic and herb or sun cheese, and I want us to spread over every part of this pork. So once we roll it up and bake it, every bite is filled with flavor. Then we just wanna sprinkle on some dried cranberries and dried apricots. If you don't have dried apricots around, use golden raisins, use regular raisins. Okay, so once we've done that, you start at the side closest to you and we're just gonna roll it up. The cheese not only adds a lot of flavor, but it's gonna help our pork stick together as it cooks. So we don't need any toothpicks or twine. We're just gonna put it on a shallow roasting pan that I've already sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, seam side down, so it's gonna bake right like that. I've got our oven heated to 375 degrees and it's gonna bake for 40 minutes. Then in the last five minutes of baking, we're gonna base some pure maple syrup over it. It's gonna be delicious. Take a look at that. Our pork roulade is done. And remember in the last five minutes, I brushed it with some maple syrup so it got caramely and toasted on the outside. It's gonna be delicious. But it does need about 15 minutes to rest. So I am gonna tent it with some aluminum foil and let it do its thing. Now that's the perfect amount of time to prep and bake our sides. So first, we wanna raise the oven to 425 degrees. It's already hot, so that's just gonna take a couple minutes. And then we're gonna work on our rest roasted Brussels sprouts. Now when I'm thinking about a quick weeknight holiday dinner for my family, I always stop by the fresh cut section and get a vegetable because I love pairing a meat and a vegetable together. You could do it with Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower. I do this recipe a million different ways. So first, we wanna put a little bit of olive oil drizzled over, and then I'm gonna season it with some salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now, we're just gonna to top in some sliced apples. You can use whatever variety of apple that you have available to you. So toss the ingredients in the olive oil and make sure everything's seasoned all the way around, and then we're gonna hit it with the juice of an orange. It's gonna bring out a totally different flavor. Okay, now we wanna get this spread out on a baking sheet. We're gonna let this roast for 10 minutes, and after that 10 minutes, I'm gonna sprinkle a half cup of pecans and let those get perfectly toasted for another five minutes. Then our side's done, right when our pork's done. Oh, these look so good. What a healthy meal. That makes a mama really happy. So keep weeknight family dinner alive this holiday season with just 10 ingredients. For this recipe and many more, visit shaws.com.